Good morning. It's October 3rd, 2020. Welcome to CBS This Morning, Saturday. The president hospitalized. Concerns over his battle with COVID-19 forced President Trump to fly to Walter Reed Medical Center. Hear his message to the country, how long he's expected to stay, and the growing list of people close to him now also infected. Secrecy and silence concerns worldwide after the White House withholds key details about the president's condition and treatment. We'll talk to John Dickerson about why it poses a threat to the country, the economy, and the election. Campaign cutbacks with just one month till Election Day, the president's calendar is clear. While Joe Biden pulls negative ads out of respect for the president's condition, we'll explore what the final weeks may look like. Breonna Taylor tapes released. Grand jury recordings are made public in the Breonna Taylor police shooting case. What they say happened in the final moments leading up to her death. And sounds of the game. We take you inside the so-called NBA bubble to find out more about the technology that's making the game sound like it's being held in a packed arena. See how savvy technicians are pulling it off. And they are. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Your world in 90 seconds. I think I'm doing very well. But we're going to make sure that things work out. The First Lady is doing very well. The leader of the free world is in the hospital with COVID-19. The President of the United States flew into Walter Reed Medical Center. I'm not going to get into um, the President's symptoms exactly. He's had mild symptoms, but he is hard at work. Um, we're having to slow him down a little bit. The President's campaign manager and former White House counselor Kellyanne Conway are the latest from the White House to test positive. Well wishes for President Trump are pouring in from both sides of the aisle. Our best wishes to the President of the United States, the First Lady. Joe Biden and his wife Jill were found to be negative. Biden ventured out onto the campaign trail. This is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us. The attorney general in Kentucky released 15 hours of grand jury recordings in the shooting death of Breonna Taylor. Rick Moranis is recovering after a random attack on a New York City sidewalk. The unknown man knocking him to the ground. All that. Game two of the NBA Finals, the Lakers beat the Heat. Beautiful pass, Rondo to James, count it, and one. And all that matters. All of a sudden, everyone we know is texting us, like everyone, our friends, co-workers, my parents, her parents. It was a tick explosion, which I don't know who's writing this year, but it's too much. It's not even believable anymore. It's ridiculous. On CBS This Morning, Saturday. We weren't actually even going to do a show today. I wasn't going to even be here right now. But then again, a lot of people are in places today that they did not expect to be. Now, say what you will about the president, and I do. This is a serious moment for our nation. And we all wish the president and the first lady of the United States a speedy and a full recovery. This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Well said, Stephen Colbert. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Jeff Glor, along with Michelle Miller. Dana Jacobson is off today, so we are once again joined by Elaine Quijano. Elaine, so good to see you. Thanks for having me. We are going to begin this morning with an update on the president as he wakes up in a Maryland hospital after being diagnosed with coronavirus. The president was flown to the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center last night in what the White House called an abundance of caution. Mr. Trump is said to be doing well despite being fatigued and having a low-grade fever. His treatment comes as more members of his inner circle also test positive for COVID. Overnight, we learned President